Good evening. It's 9 p.m. here in Seoul. Thank you for joining us on Arirang News. It's a historic moment in South Korea's space exploration. Following a 24-hour delay, the country's homegrown space rocket, the Nuri, this evening blasted off into space for its third launch. This time, Nuri was on its first ever proper mission to put real payloads, which is confirmed to be a success. For more, we go over to our Lee kyung who's been following the developments. So kyung what do we know about the results? Good evening, Jiang from Narrow Space Center, where I can say it's the main gate to space. This is where Nuri blasted off into the space at 6.24 p.m. And this time, unlike the first and second launches, it was carrying real payloads on board, eight operating working satellites on actual mission. And putting them into orbit was what would determine the success of this launch. The key focus was on putting the main satellite, the next generation small satellite 2, into its target orbit, where it can always make use of solar energy to operate in generating an image of Earth. And as of 7.50 p.m., it has been confirmed that the launch was indeed a success. The next generation small satellite 2 and 6 cube satellites have been confirmed to be successfully separated. But one among the four snipe cube satellites needs a bit more time to be confirmed. The officials added that it may have actually separated successfully, but just may not have been captured possibly by being in a blind spot. It is unclear when the officials will be able to find out the results, but they've made clear that they can declare a success regardless of the separation status of the CUBE satellites because the ultimate goal of this launch was the successful transportation of the next set two, and that main satellite is also confirmed to is successfully communicating with the ground. Right, kyung and it's a milestone achievement for the nation's space development, but there were hiccups along the way. That's right, it was not all easy because this launch came after 24 hours of delays as Wednesday's initial launch was called off just three hours to go. And it was due to a technical glitch found in the software that controls the helium valve as it was unable to receive signals from the control tower. But this was all sorted as of 5 a.m. and Nuri was given the okay. The Ministry of Science and ICT has decided to go ahead with the launching procedures with the aim of a 6.24 p.m. liftoff time after assessing everything that needs to be taken into consideration. This second attempt was made in a rather swift manner compared to the second launch, which was delayed twice because it was a software issue, not hardware. So Nuri did not have to be transported back to the assembly center as the problem was fixed while Nuri remained in position. With this, now South Korea takes a step further in building more reliability and confidence in space launch vehicles and providing commercial services tailored for satellites. Back to you, Chiang. All right, thank you, Gyeong-un. That was our Lee Gyeong-un live from the NATO Space Center.